Yeah. You guys grab one of these and pass them around. In class quiz, by all means, it's probably better to work with one or two other people on this. Two is the optimal number, um, just because the data collection is going to be easier to share with somebody. Uh, so in class quiz, come around. Go ahead. You can work. You can work by yourself. I got no problem with that. Obviously, no problem. I'm just saying it might be easier for you to crunch the data with somebody else. You're also at least one of you is going to need the data sheet that has the snowfall data from Bend on it, because that's where you're going to be sampling from. What this is, what this little in class quiz is, it's kind of like three or four fold. Number one. It's to make sure at the basis level, you guys can run one of our stats on raw data. Yay! Because that's one of those things I want you to do pretty much the rest, the rest of the... The term's almost half over. You believe that? I can't believe that. Right. But it's one of those things I want to keep practicing because make that, make that second, second hand. Number two, to make sure we know what Q1 is, what Q3 is, what the median is, what the min max are. That's great too. Number three, to be able to get a box plot, to know what a box plot says. That's all kind of like the level one type of learning. The level two type of learning is being able to draw a random sample. So let me tell you about this data. I've given you the list, the, the link for it. It's from uh, the Western Regional Climate Center. It's their data from 1927 up to about 2008, 2009, somewhere in there. Right about then, they started saying the Bend annual snowfalls on their website were zero inches every year. And I was keeping my own data because my son was interested by that point. He was two and he was interested in measuring the snow. So I started measuring it myself and we'd, we'd add the numbers to the shed and every year, every spring we go out and write down and total them up and be like, oh, we've got whatever, 18 inches of snow this year. And I emailed the Western Regional Climate Center and I said, I noticed that you're saying that there's zero inches of snow for 08, 09, 2010. I'm just curious. He's like, oh yeah, the guy that was collecting our data just stopped doing it. I'm like, oh, maybe you want to stop putting zero in there then. He's like, no, 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 it's still good data. I'm like, no, it's not, <laughs> because it's not zero. And then he's like, what side of town are you on? I'm like, I'm not having this discussion with you. So what I did was, <laughs> I kept it up to 2008, where I think it was pretty good, and then I started from nine on is my data. Nine or 10 on is my data. So what you see is you see a smooth curve, but somewhere around 2009, 2010 is where I started throwing mine in. And I've got the most recent winner I've got on here is starting in 13, 14. So last, 2013, about this time last year, the first snowfall, up till the last snowfall in town, summed up to just about whatever that is, 30 some inches in total at my house. Most of which came on February, I believe it was eighth last year. <laughs> Pretty much all of it, I think, came that one day. We got yeah. a couple dustings and then three and a half feet in the backyard, right. which I just love Bend snowfall. It's like feast or famine. So anyway, this is Bend snowfall. And I, was, I became interested in this because of the Chamber of Commerce site, the average of 33.8 inches of snow per year. I, I, again, I hear things like that and I want to know why. Why do they say things like that? So anyway, level three is going to be randomly sampling from this data set. Now clearly, this is all the data that exists over just about a century's worth of data collection, 90 years. That's a lot of data. What you're going to do is you're going to use technology to draw a random sample of 20 of these years and you're going to analyze those 20 years and we're going to compare your results to the overall population and see how random sampling does on average compared to the population. Because we keep talking about random sampling, we haven't actually done it yet. So today's the first time we'll actually do some random sampling. And it's more a 244 thing, it really is. But this is the perfect example of how to do it in 243 and use 243 terms on a random sample gotten from, from real data. Mm. Yay, yay us. So what the quiz does is it walks you through using your TI 83. So Kevin, you have to pair with somebody else because I forget how to do random numbers on an 89. But how to use your TI to generate some random years and then you're gonna have to pull from those years the amounts of snow those years got and then you're gonna do the five number summary and make box plots on that data. So pair up or triple up. Make sure all your names are on the quiz so I can give you all credit for it because you're all going to get perfect tens on this. And let's just slug away. Grab me if you need help with anything, okay? I'll be, I'll be wandering about. Hi, need a quiz. Let's start with that.